Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a nice and chilled Pepsi Max Cherry, which is the closest approximation we're going to get to the oft-suggested Dicoke and Maraschino Cherry concoction, which I must try at some point. Maraschino, Maraschino, depends on where you're from. Either way, butchering pronunciations aside, in the previous episode we went north and managed to get... Moo apparently does not like bookcases or beds. Hence why they're always in need of sleep. Anyway, in the previous episode, we went north and got this uh, staff only area, which contains a staff room and a kennel, and the guard towers to overlook the cells that we are basically going to clone right now. Now, here's the thing. I was going to basically do a clone like this and then just place it down. However, a couple of people did suggest a very, very smart thing. We could rotate this and flip it and have this so that the yard and all of the outside bit is facing in the middle, and then obviously we'll do a similar thing here so that these sniper towers can overlook all of that. That's actually a great idea. I'm not going to clone that one, though, simply because um, sometimes there's issues with uh, flipping, but if I use the one at the bottom, it should still be accurate. So one, two, and then three. And I'm going to let the workers crack on with those for now. In terms of money, obviously, we are very, very... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're in a stable position, let's uh, call it there. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how we're getting on thus far. We do have a little bit of a problem in that basically this cell can't be filled. And the reason for that is over to intelligence and gangs. We do have uh, six, well three, three and six gang members. Obviously, we've got these um, the gang members around here. But we can see that we've got, if we mouse over to the Vipers, they have one officer. And we can see that uh, King here... <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit of an ironic name. Uh, King is the leader of the Vipers. If we go down to the Bone Breakers, they don't have any officers. So if we scroll around, we're not going to see any of the crowns above their head, no. And then finally, for the Jackals, we do have this guy here. Because obviously we set up the, um, the, the system so that they are indeed in uh, their own cells. So yeah, that's all set up. That's set up. And this is set up for the Bone Breakers, but we don't have one of their member here. So what I'm going to do is basically just put that to shed for now and then we'll still get another person if that's a gang leader then we'll switch it over again so it's not too much of a problem um, let's just go to max speed here we do still have obviously a couple of grants which have successfully reformed 15 gang members i don't think any of that will work in the slightest we've got things like behavioral therapy pharmacological treatment to drug addiction other things that they're, they're wanting to do but it's just uh yeah it's not happening uh <laughs> Reform Prison Consultation, Faith Program, Breed Therapy, Fight Club, all of that sort of stuff. Like I say, the Gang Rehabilitation, it's it's in there. It says 12 in the queue. Um, oh, it's unscheduled because of, yeah, the free time of day thing that's going on. Either way, working towards just building up all of this and cloning to this side and then basically doing the same thing down the bottom. And it will be a nice... A nice thing to get to. We will obviously have to do some patrols and I'm going to do that now. So over to deployment and patrols and I have to... Oh, <laughs> well it's a good job I checked this anyway because we have obviously an issue with the doggo. So we're going to have magenta patrol that's going to go up here and then across and then down. And then we'll assign a dog handler there and a dog handler there just because it's... Uh, actually, you know, we'll assign one on each corner or the opposites do the diagonals and then for the patrol routes around here i'm gonna have to alter these as well so i'm going to go to assigned arm guards and remove 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 and remove i'll just put it to normal speed while we're doing this and we'll remove the blue patrol around there and hmm, how do i want to do this uh that's actually fine i think magenta patrol is going to be across an open round. Uh, no, it's actually going to be like that, isn't it? Something like that. I could have it like that as well. I mean, yeah, we don't need it on the on the outside, truth be told. We could just do that. Like that. And like that. Yep. Yeah. And, oh, it won't get rid of those because that's what we've got. Blue, uh, magenta Patrol selected instead of blue. So, there we go. That's a bit more bit more accurate and then for another blue patrol while we're still here this is going to go across and then down and this is basically going to follow the same sort of path as the other one um one of the things doing like we are here there's a oh hang on uh uh right this 
There's going to be an interesting patrol. <laughs> we'll have to see what that's like. Anyway, um, the idea is that they'll patrol around here, but because they're going to go on the inside, they will actually trip the door every time they stand on this one. Not too much of an issue. Uh, that is definitely uh, an issue. Let me lock open. And I'm hearing some shots getting fired. Guessing it was over there, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over to deployment and to armed guards. I'm going to assign one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many do we have? I think it was 11. Oh. Anthony uh, Muscato killed with... Oh, killed with a sniper rifle, apparently. Hmm. That wasn't the leader, was it? No. I don't believe so. Just gonna double check though. For my own sanity. What little I have left of it. Uh yeah, that's fine. They're not the gang leader. Okay. So we're gonna set up the uh we're gonna set up these um doors here to be locked open so they can actually, you know, install the thing. And we're gonna continue cloning across once we've got them in. Probably build uh, another three and then these two. I don't know what we're gonna do with this rubble actually, because it doesn't say it, there's no option to remove it, as far as I can tell. Uh looks like that is also damaged, so that'll have to be repaired. Obviously, some of the stuff won't clone, like the PA system and the uh the the lovely soft pillow. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to sort that one out. Either way, um, we've got these patrols here, which are not obviously fully done. Uh, let's double check. We have, oh, 16 armed guards. Actually, that's acceptable. I'm still gonna hire, well, one more apparently. Um, I was gonna hire some more, but we can't. So what I'm gonna do is that, and then max speed this out. So we've got obviously all of this stuff put in. We do need to put in the walkways so that these uh, armed guards and stuff that are patrolling have a more a higher sense of urgency. They can walk a lot quicker. And um, they're sort of bumping into each other and now they're heading back over. How many do I have? How many have assigned here? <laughs> Let me double check this. No, those are assigned correctly. Uh, we've had another death here which is... Oh! This is Pet Bird. No, this is a uh, uh, Carolina, another inmate. And good grief, what's going on here? Apparently, everything's kicking off. Oh, okay. So there was a fight over here, a fight over here that ended in the that ended in two fatalities. Duncan was climbing over here, and this guy was seemingly fighting. And then another one was trying to get out. Are these were these just trying to basically? Batter one another. No, they were the same gang members, so maybe they were trying to get to here. And oh, they've got the same. I think those were the same gang member as well. I have no idea. Maybe it was just a gang breakout thing. We'll never know. Right, max speed this out, get this thing built, and oh, I'm going to have to pause actually. Ironically, after maxing it out, just to force open these doors here. I think some of the doors are actually installed. It's just that. Um, that remote door's locked open, yes. Uh, some of these are actually installed, it's just we don't have any power, so it wouldn't work anywhere. So there we go, let's force those open. And, oh my good grief, is everyone taking crazy pills today or something? Uh, right, so there's another fatality over there, Antonio. I'm gonna have to restaff here. Uh, let's go for 50 guards. And there we are. Danger level obviously flying up. And I can hear the installation of some of this stuff. That remote door will need to be locked open. Uh, that one's to be installed. That one is locked open. Yeah, we'll just crack on with the rest of the building there. That's all alright. And this door is in progress. So I just need to keep an eye on that one. Because as soon as it's installed, we'll have to then pause it. And then lock that open. And there we go. Right, so it appears that... Most of this is installed, which is good. These two are completed. Third one is going to get there. Over to fighting again. Uh, we don't have any snipers around here. Do oh, we have a sniper there, but they're not, they're not actually on the tower. And I've got ten snipers. I'm going to hire some more then, because we do need some people over there. Arm guard's going to come over and, yeah, there we go, that's been dealt with. And has this been completed? No. But, 
over to wiring, connections, and we have our door control system. Someone did suggest we put in some more door control systems, and I think that is actually a good idea. Let me go ahead and go for another door control system. I'm going to put it in the middle here, like one there and one there, and that will require some electrical, so we'll just connect it up like that. And you know what? While we're on, I might as well go ahead and put in the electrics here. So it's going to run in like so, and then... How did I have this go? Was it like just that, essentially? And like that. I believe so. As long as the outside is electrified, it doesn't really matter. And water. We have the... Hmm. We have a bit of an issue. In that the way the water pipe runs at the moment, it's not going to work. So I'm going to run this one up, and I'm going to T-piece it off like that. And then I'll just run the pipes down. I mean, I could even use large pipe because they, they don't even escape. They don't even attempt to escape, so <laughs> I could very easily do that. But no, let's um, let's not for now. Anyway, looks like all three are built, which is excellent. And we're gonna go to connections, and this is getting installed, which is good. Doesn't really matter which one we use, but we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine, and then it's one, two, and three for the connections there. Okay, good. Um, oh, they're still waiting for the pipe to go in. Uh, the electrical cable, should I say. We've got George trying to escape. Looks like the arm guards, yes, are taking care of things. When it comes to the advanced searchlights, I'm probably just going to put one there and then one there. We could rotate them round and mess on. I don't think we have any great need to uh, to do that. Uh, obviously, the flooring is something we need to do as well. But I'm... Mm, do I leave it? Or do I put it in now? I think I'm going to clone the rest of it and then go from there. Possibly. There's all of the... Unconscious Paul King. Uh, there's all of the electrical and water going in, which is good. These remote doors are set correctly now, so I can close them off. And... Oh, so that one I definitely clicked on. There's this weird delay you get sometimes while clicking on these. Or any object in the game, actually. And there we go. So those are now set correctly. So, a couple of things we need. We need a pillow. A lovely soft pillow. One, two, three... And then we need a PA system, which goes, which goes where? Going to go down the bottom and see, ah, no, obviously further up. It goes just below the phone booths. No, can't do. It goes just below the light. Okay. But I don't know, I can't see the light, but it's going to be there, isn't it? Something like that. And I think you need to have that connected in with electrical. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Um, wiring again, actually. There's loads of wiring. There's a lot of a lot of utilities in this one, and it's going to be the phone taps. So we're going to go one, two, three, and that is pretty much wired up correctly, I think. Right, quick build, custom cloning, and spend some more money. And also, I think. I'm going to get in the tiles. So we'll put in the top ones first. And, <laughs> yeah, the chances of getting this right in one go are unbelievably small. And down here. And these ones. And obviously these are not even going to be bought in yet, so... Oh, actually, no, they probably will be, come to think of it probably will be bought in. Be bought in before the other stuff, actually. Anyway. We've got another couple of deaths. Let me just pause it while I check out what's going on. Not that that's like a like a noticeable event these days. Oh, Chloe and Adele are very much exhausted. That is a, I think a dog cat dog. Is it? Can't really make it out because how dark the game is. 
in multiple senses of the word at this stage. Anyway, back over to here. So, we're going to have uh, more dog handlers. There we go, up to eight. And I'm just going to double check the... Oh, I'm going to double check the gangs menu. Aha. Aha. We have a leader. There they are. That's Dennington. Okay, so we have a gang leader. Let's double check then. So we have medium, maximum. So Dennington, you need to be low, minimum, and that. That should be all correct. Should. Let's see if it's actually the case. Um, this guard tower, I am going to... Oh! I was going to say, dismantle is in progress. Okay. Can we prioritise the removal of that, please? <laughs> I just wonder why they haven't done it. How curious. And when I mean curious, I mean... Is it bugged out? <laughs> I don't know. But what I do know is danger level's low, and we've had a bit of subsidence here. Luckily, we didn't lose any of the wind solar hybrids. The foundations are still solid. But the fence, well, not so much. So I'm going to place that in there, and then obviously prioritise the building of that. The egg survived, which is the main thing, obviously. And then we will go back to deployment, and we're going to set up the deployment properly, because it's currently not right. Is that correct? Yeah, sort of. Okay. Found another death, apparently, in here. Don't know whether it's a guard or an inmate. Since there's no inmates in there, I'm going to guess it's that. Um, Paul King. Ah, yes. Master of all this there. Which is currently the, the concrete floor. All right, good. Uh, most of the tiles have been placed, which is pretty good. Let's spend some time on that then. And it's going to be these corners first. Do I have to do down the bottom? I don't think so. A lot of our prisons have a drug problem. I was going to say how, because they can't actually get this stuff in, but apparently legendary prisoners can just spawn stuff in. I don't know how true that is, but it sounds about right. And let's just get the rest of that. And then these as well. And sorted. Obviously, we'll have to do the other bits as well, which I'll probably get on with in a moment. It just depends on how long it's going to take to build the rest of it. So we are definitely increasing the uh, capacity somewhat. Oh! Ah, oh, that's why... So we've had a more subsidence here. I'm hoping this can be done. Uh, let's go ahead and go through any of the doors that have been installed. I'm going to have to manually open. I think it's actually that just that one. But yes, we've had some subsidence on this side as well. So this is triggered. When that event triggered, it, it also triggered this one. So that's going to be a permanent issue now. We can't call in repair services because that part of it is not on. It's just a quirk of the settings, really. So our remote doors are going in. We can hear in the background them going in. There's a big, it's like a dull clunking noise. Uh, this other one is being installed. Uh, that one, we need to lock open. And with all of the workers that we have, it's uh, really good to see how, just how quick they are in installing this stuff. Oh, look at that. That's... That's legitimate, apparently. No. No, it is not legitimate. Um, I guess I'll do that, and it should fill it back in. <laughs> even after... And I'm hesitant to say it. Even after a decade, yes, it's been that long, um, of playing the game, I still... When I do stuff like that, I place the foundations. <laughs> is it going to break? <laughs> Because back in the day, stuff like that was... Well, it wasn't that you you wouldn't do it. It's that, firstly, you couldn't. 
<laughs> and then after that, uh, yeah, even when you could, apparently, um, it would break often. Uh, consider wiping some of your more mischievous... Oh, consider equipping some of your more mischievous prisoners with a tracking belt. All right, yeah. And when we could do. Uh, we've got actually interesting options now because of, of grants and the amount of prisoners we have. We've got things like inmate nutritional research and stuff that we can run. <laughs> I'm not going to run that, I don't think. I don't have any any big plans there. Anyway, so these are pretty much okay. Uh, power is obviously an issue. I'm going to just lock open these doors before um, we finish. I'll finish the rest of it and then I'll put the, put the flooring in and uh, flooring where I need it over here and well, that one's already done. So we just need to put some some cables, I guess, in a couple of places. Oh, I'm guessing that door is, yes, lock open. These ones are getting installed. So we lock open the door so they can then lock themselves in the doors that they're trying to install. Yeah, that's a thing. All right, so we're going to go up to there. Armed guards are doing armed guard stuff, by the sound of it. And there's even more stuff being bought in. Wow. Okay, well... Over to utilities, and I'm just going to put in the water for now because it's just, frankly, it's just easy to do. Um, and then we need to do electrical. So electrical is basically copying what we've done previously, which is uh, that across, down, and then uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, the phone. Prisoners demand more free time being indulged for too long. Okay, fine. So we can now change it back over to our usual, which is work free time. Work free time. Programs. Uh, reschedule all. Oh! It says someone's been assigned to gang rehabilitation. Felix Pennington. Excellent. Still running some staff programs because money is not really a thing we have to worry about. Anyway, back over to utilities and the electrical cables. And this is just for all of the door servos and such, and then it runs around here, because I know someone has asked before. Um, it runs around like so because <laughs> underneath the barbed wire, underneath the barbed wire is an electric fence. <laughs> so you do need to run things around there. Okay. We've not actually done a shakedown in... I don't think ever. Let's search all 587 places. So this is going to make danger level go up. But, well, so what? We're going to get another guard. And some more arm guards. So far, we've got batons, knife, spoon, scissors, poison, cell phone, shears. Of all of the things that's here... The one that's the most numerous is a whisk. <laughs> ah, yes. The deadliest of weapons. Uh, let me just lock open these doors here. Uh, hang on. I cannot click on the door. What a nightmare. Come on. Oh, it's not even installed, that one. Lock open. Good. Oh. Duncan Donnelly took out our dog handler. And then was taken out themselves. Probably by the doggo, actually. Doggos don't take kindly to any of that nonsense. Right, over to some wiring. Trey Chadwick. Suppressed, surrendered, and killed by a guard for being a cop killer. Nothing much you can do about that. It's legendary. Alright, so one, two, three, and four. Objects, pillow, one, two, three, four, and there was something else, monitors, no, the CCTV, we're going to use the advanced searchlights once again, and I'm just going to place one in because I know for a fact I'll end up getting it wrong in terms of the uh, orientation, <laughs> so I'll just place one down for now and see how we fare. Um, this one is apparently root blocked three times. I'm guessing it's that door there. Yes, indeed. And Scott... Apparently, all the heat up here, where it's, you know, it's got double the capacity. 
Apparently that's less eventful than down the bottom here, where we have people like Paul Forrest trying to break out. But there you are. I mean, the clones worked, as far as I can tell. Store prisoner uniforms, put in the wiring, just finishing this bit off. Need to install the door servo first. Those are all locked open, which is fine. The bird cages have cloned. Everything else has seemingly been cloned and works. Uh, this one, apparently, I didn't run in the electrical cable or do anything. So I think I've totally missed it. Third time's a charm. There we go. And, oh yeah, PA system is there. Let's put in said PA system. Let's also put in the water. Yeah, clone. I did five, didn't I? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I, I just counted the four. And I think that's everything installed. So, I'll make sure that the water connection is correct. That one isn't correct. And now we're going to do a lot of wiring. And, oh, that's actually, that's actually wired up correctly, I think. So, let's go ahead and wire all these in. And I'm going to put it to normal speed because it just makes it easier. And these ones are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, all in. Good. And then we need to put in the searchlights and the searchlights and the searchlights. And those also need electrical power. Um, so that and that. Same thing here and here. So all of the wiring is done for the servos. The phone tap is not correct. Now it is correct. The CCTV is not yet in, so I can't connect that up. But I can change these locked open to just standard now because the wiring is, wiring is fine. But the behaviours of the prisoners is not. <laughs> we can hear it being quite eventful on the left hand side. Uh, lock open. And then finally, the rest of it, like so. Okay, so those are now in. That one's been ordered for the. for the um, water pipe and. Pillow goes in there. Pillow's already installed in the rest. And I think, apart from these little additions here, that's pretty much it. We've done a shakedown. We've got in this stuff ordered. Danger level's going up, but they will be fed shortly. How are we doing for chefs? We've got eight cooks. I'm going to take that up to 18. Not because we need it in here for cooking, Simply for delivery, we need to uh, deliver the stuff. And obviously that takes quite some time. Electrical cable's going in. The electrical cable seems to be correct. Wiring-wise, we have uh, CCTV monitors, which we're going to go one, two, three, and finally the fourth. There it is. Oh! Alec Walker is going to get out. Well, I did initiate a guard response, but sadly they managed to get out. Oh, well, it uh, wasn't much else I could really do, I guess. I'm thinking of putting some more snipers in. Um, putting some in for... Is that guard tower never staffed? I don't believe it is. Anyway, um, put some in the corners, maybe. I think this should suffice. But I was tempted to maybe put one here and one here on both sides to overlook the middle. I don't know. I'm going to have a think about it. Either way, we are going to leave it there for now. That has been a bit of prison architect. We have got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cells. This is good. Next episode, we'll finish off the northern expansion, which includes another six cells, the patrols, which we've mostly set up. We're going to have in, obviously, all of the usual searchlights and wiring and things like that. So, yeah, it's um, been a eventful one, and it's still very spicy at times. Once we've done that, pretty much going to do the same down the bottom, and I'd like to get, say, that, uh, that decent capacity in here. We've already sort of 
air quotes, completed the goal of legendary and Gangonia facility. This is just expanding it to see how we can uh, go on with it. I know people have suggested going across the road. Yeah, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, it would be nice, but uh, not within the scope of the of the build at this stage. Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. That's got a guard tower there. Um, I could reuse that or sell it. I'll leave it where it is for now. It's uh, It's doing no harm. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the episode. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.